Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today I'm sharing all my fair stuff. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I went this morning to pick up all my fair entries and my ribbons and my check <laughs> uh, from our local county fair. It ended yesterday and so today was the clean out day. And uh, I'm going to show you all uh, which pattern I got what because I know the first video of fair day was a little hard to see because you know it's all kinds of people and stuff. But um, I can't remember all the patterns off the top of my head but I will have them all linked below in the description box. So this is just basically me showing them to you and telling you what I won with them. And then you can find all the links in the description box below. Alright, so like uh, you can see there's a big pile here so I'm just going to grab it off the top. The first one was my Christmas wreath category. I won first place in it. And um, I did just do this myself. This is a Repeat Crafter Me. Is it? I, don't, I can't remember that. I know this is Repeat Crafter Me. But I'm not sure about this. But this is two patterns. This is a written pattern for, by someone. And this is a written pattern by someone. This was just you know me doing it. And I just put them together to make a Christmas wreath. And I did get first place for that. And the next was my patriotic wreath category. And it's got tape on it. Turn this off. There you go. And it is a free pattern too, I remember. I'll, like I said, they'll all be below. I can't remember. Uh, they're off the top of my head. And I'm trying to rush because uh, Jesse's eating and I want to get done so I can eat with him. But uh, I got first place on it too. And then my little sheep, y'all seen recently. I entered it in the toy category, and it got first place. Cute little sheepy poo. My Jada and Stitches blank uh, <laughs> basket. It's the big beautiful basket pattern. This is what I usually keep my variegated yarn in, but I entered it in the basket category, and it won first also. Big old basket. <laughs> this is made out of just a bunch of. Um, Variegated random yarns. This one I'm the most proud of because it's not only a pattern that I made, but it's a pattern that I designed and then made it and then entered in the fair and I got second place. This was entered into the Halloween decorations category. So it's really cool that I got second place on a pattern that I wrote and then made and entered and won second place. On my Hocus the Witch Frog, which is in my Etsy shop if you're interested. And it's actually on sale right now <laughs> until the 13th. Well, through the 13th. So really the 14th of September. But yeah, so he won second, which is awesome. This one I entered in Stuffed Animal category, I think. And it is a bunny pattern out of a book that I have. But I will link the book below if I can find the Amazon link. And I got first on it. It's a big old bunny. It's really big. This is actually going to be going to my craft fair uh, in October. But I won first prize on it, which is awesome. Then my Christmas stocking. Um, I know this is called the Hermosa pattern. But I can't remember who, who uh, made it. But like I said, all the links will be below. I entered it and got second on my stocking. I've only entered the fair four years. And three of the years I entered stockings. And all three years that I entered a stocking, I got a ribbon on. So that's cool. Last year and year before that, I got blue ribbons. And then this year I got a red ribbon, which is second place. And then I entered the, the purse category, and I crocheted a purse and put a thrifted strap on it. And I got first on it. And it's like a boho purse. It's got all kinds of tassels. My mom actually claimed this. She wants this, and I'm going to give it to her because I probably won't use it. I don't carry purses. But, uh, yeah. She'll probably get another one, too, because um, I'm going to make another one for next year's fair. And like I said, I don't carry purses. So, boho purse, first place. And my big old spirit, <laughs> the uh, Patriotic Eagle, it is a Heidi Yates pattern. It's a paper pattern. I entered it in the Patriotic Decorations, and it got first place. So that's really cool. I love that spirit. And then the last two, oh wait, I did enter crochet hat. I didn't win anything on that, which is fine. And I entered crochet Christmas ornament, or Christmas ornament. And I didn't win anything, but they're still really cute. I'll probably give this to my mom. Or gift it to someone if I have like a Christmas swap or something later. I might gift it to someone. And then my hat. This is a Heidi Yates pattern for the hat. And then the last two things I entered were my blankets. And for the regular size afghans, I entered my Halloween blanket. Which you guys have seen it a lot lately because I've been showing it a lot. Uh, it's the one that I backed with fleece or felt or whatever it's called. A big Halloween blanket. And I got first place with it. 
which is awesome. Now I can put it on my couch and use it after I get the ribbons off. And then the final one, I got first place and best in show on Baby Africa, which I was not expecting. But I got first place on it and then best in show. Which is super duper awesome. I wasn't expecting that. This is called the High Tide Waves Pattern and it's by B-Ball Blanket. I do know that one off the top of my head just because I've been saying it a lot lately. But it is a really pretty um, pattern. So now I gotta go uh, a day that me and Devin have a chance and take pictures of it out with the ribbon like I did in my Mandala Madness last year. I'm so excited again to get this ribbon because I wasn't expecting it. I expected it last year with the Mandala Madness because I worked so hard on that and I thought if I didn't get the purple ribbon then the people are crazy. But this year I wasn't expecting to get a Best in Show. But I'm really proud and glad that I did because this was a lot of work, this blanket, but it's not nearly as much work as the Mandala Madness. But um, I'm super proud of my purple ribbon. <laughs> so that's all the stuff that I won at the county fair. This year I only entered 13 things. I won on all of, or I got a ribbon on all of them but two. But I did get thir 12 ribbons because this one got two. Uh, it got first place and uh, best in show. So I think that's pretty good. And my money... They upped their premiums this year, which is awesome again. Last year, they were like 2 and $3, I think, each. This year, they were um, 4 or 6 and some of them were 6 and 8 for first and second. We don't do third place at our fair. And the purple ribbon, best in show, is always 10 So, um, this is, if you can see it. And then the categories are actually right there. <laughs> but um, I got to bring home $74, so that's awesome. Um, that's way, you know, way more last year if I had entered the same amount of things. Last year I entered 22 items and I think I got 19 ribbons and I brought home $99. But this year I entered, uh, 13 items, brought home 12 ribbons, I think, <laughs> and got 74. So if I had entered as much last year and won as much as last year, I would have made over $100. So next year I'm going to shoot for entering more stuff. <laughs> Hopefully. I planned that for this year, but I was just so busy. But I'm going to go ahead and plan for that next year and see what happens. But um, So I could potentially get a good hunk of money next year. Because $74 is awesome for just entering my fair and getting cool ribbons. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's a lot of fun always to enter the county fair. It helps your community because it does bring people into the fair to look at the exhibits. And then they usually spend money there. And that goes back into the community, you know. And it's fun to just see it. It's fun to brag about it. And it's fun to compete. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun to compete. And, um, yeah, I think that's about everything. Next year, my goals are to enter a lot more crochet stuff. I want to enter some sewing stuff. I actually got one thing right here I'm going to show you in just a second. Let me move this blanket. And I'd like to enter some baking stuff because me and Devin both like to bake. I love to make uh, stuff from scratch. I make his birthday cake every year from scratch. And his birthday just happens to be the week before the fair. So I told him next year I was going to make him a cake and uh, make another one <laughs> for the fair. Um, this year I made him a German chocolate cake with the uh, coconut and pecan icing. So next year uh, he might want like a carrot cake or something because that's usually the two he goes between. And then I'll be entering that into the county fair hopefully. And like some biscuits or something. I don't know. It'll be fun. But uh, for one of the sewing things, I bought this. I've been eyeballing it at um, Hobby Lobby since I put out the Christmas material. And they put it out last year too and I was eyeballing it. But it's a really cool, it's a panel that you cut out and sew into a book. And it's The Night Before Christmas, which is one of Jesse's favorite stories, actually. We read it almost every night and some nights, multiple nights, before he goes to bed. He just really loves Santa and all that. He gets that for me. But um, this is the panel. Oh, so that's the covers, the front cover and back cover and the pages. There's only six of them. So when you, you, you know, you have to sell three together and then when you stack it up, it makes the whole book. And it's super simple. You, you basically just, you got to sell the squares together backwards you know front sides facing and then turn it and sew that shut after putting batting in there and then you sew down the middle of the book like a spine so i think this is a good beginner project for something other than bags because i'm really good at making bags i've been making bags for the last year so i can make bags but i can't make other stuff and i want to start getting into where i make other stuff so i was eyeballing this and eyeballing this and it was $7.99, but it was 30% off. So it was like $5.62, I think, um, for this little book. And that's cute because it would be a really cute um, heirloom, hand-me-down thing. Because it, it has a better chance of surviving than a paper book. And it's just cute. And it'll be squishy because it'll have batting in it. And 
I just think it's adorable and I can't wait to make it. <laughs> and um, it'll be fun to read it with Jesse because he loves this story anyways. We just, we read it last night actually. And uh, it's got the whole story on there. So it'll be fun. And it also has this little holly. I almost said poinsettia, but that's not, it's like a holly. And I saw another woman, I looked up um, a review on this pattern <laughs> and she actually made a bookmark out of that piece, of so that scrap piece and some of this scrap uh, nude color yarn or <laughs> material for the book. So I thought that was cute. So I might do something like that too. But yeah, I just want to throw that in there because I'll, if I make this uh, after today, I can enter into fair next year because that's the rule is it has to be um, made between where the last year's fair ended and the next year's fair, fair starts. So I can go ahead and start tomorrow making crafts for next year's fair. But anyways, all that is babbling. I just wanted to show that because I know the footage from the fair was a little rough. And they don't really display stuff all that well. But um, yeah, so that's everything I won. How much money I brought home, the ribbons I got. Now I gotta take all the ribbons off and I like to write on the space on the back of them. This little thing what uh category it was and uh what pattern i made just for future reference you know uh, i just like to look back at my ribbons and see what i won with and especially my purple ones and now that i got two of these i got to get on to making my shadow box i want to make a shadow box with a picture of my mandala madness and its ribbon and then i guess i can take a picture of this and put it beside it with its ribbon and uh that's really cool i need to make sure to write the years on it because the ribbons don't have the years but I will do that myself. And yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Oh wait, I also want to say all the links are in the description below if you're interested. Because I know I didn't say the pattern names and some people kind of complain when I don't do that. But it's just because I'm in a rush to go eat with Jesse before he finishes eating. And I wanted to get this filmed so I could put all that stuff away. Because a lot of this is going to be going up into my craft fair stuff and holiday decorations and all that stuff. And out of my craft room because I got to start sewing today. But yeah, so now I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.